I see the future. Remember, Mina, I'm not a human being. So what I'm just, I don't want to get into the details. But I love what is going to happen to us. So, uh, but because in moon, you know, I give you a chance to see who would see. We are here, Galendo Yenza, you know, we are here. I'm a ritualist. Remember, Mina, I can go to the grave and wake a person up and send them wherever I want to send them. They work for me. You don't disrespect me. You don't think that I bought this house in my product with Bambelelo or the rituals that we do. Mm -mm. I don't live through the money I make and don't bring. I live through his bogus army that I go wake up in my two name and send them wherever I want to send them to go get whatever they want. I want them to get me. So if you come to me, you come to me with the intention, you go to Funuk I don't. Mina, I'm not one of those traditional healers that will go talking on social media and fight and do this and that. Mm. I mean, I will deal with you, especially if you've been to my house. There's many things that are buried in this yard. I cannot have six cars and be normal. I'm not normal. I Mina, mean, I've got too many spirits, so they've taken over me. I'm a spirit as well. Don't try to disrespect me. And if you befriend me, if you want to hold my hand and say, Gogo, please, let's make sure. We will go to this road. And I will get to the point where I share all the secrets with you. And Uzo Pila, you will leave. So the only way that you can invoke uh, the, uh, the spirit of a dead person or in Lela, on Avusa Ngayo, is through So when those herbs are now mixed together, they've got the power and the ability to, to steal or to take the spirit of that particular person who we're going to go to the graveyard and leave whatever we leave and then come back to collect it. By doing so, we are now able to steal that spirit. And that spirit is going to work for us. And his spirit works wonders. It doesn't sleep. And his spirit, it listens. It does what you want it to do. There is no danger in working with the spirit as long as you are going to give it what it wants. So what it wants depends on the moti or the herbs that you have used to go and wake that particular spirit up. Hence, some they want oils, your olive oils, some they want um, your honey. So we as traditional healers, we know what spirits want because we are able to communicate with them. Hence, I did make a video yesterday and I said, I am not a human being also, I'm a spirit. How? Because I know how spirits work. I know how spirits live. I've been working with spirits for the rest of my life. So let's go police. If it is then given to you, you get given, it, it, like, it gets given to you as is kupu, but it has got the spirit of that particular dead person that we went to that particular grave and we woke them up. What is the intention of doing that? We are going to protect. They are going to come and protect us and we are go they are going to come and give us money. Money in a form of a business. There is something that you need to do. You cannot send Ispogo to go and steal money and bring it in hard cash. But you can tell, you can tell Ispogo to go to the casino with you so that you win. You can tell Ispogo to go get the clients for you where, you where it is kept. Because now, when you go to the, to the grave, Utata is kubule sako. You put it in that grave. 
we tell you how you put it so that nobody sees it or so that it doesn't go easy with wind or anything of some sort. You, bury, you, you, you just dig in a hole and then you put that um, as a kupu there and then you cover it. And then it's buried there in that particular grave. It has to be a grave of a white person. There is no such thing as a Christian witch. You are just a witch or you are a Christian. You cannot be both. These things are not accepting, acceptable to God. So to all the Christian witches, you are literally planting your little footsteps on the path to hell. Because the Bible is very clear about those who practice divination, those who practice sorcery, those who practice witchcraft, those who practice trafficking with the dead, those who engage in rituals. None of that stuff is cute. America, you will never be successful in modernizing what is despicable in the eyes of God. All you will be successful in is trapping souls. And to those souls that can hear the word of the Lord coming forth here all the time, saying it is time to get rid of your spell books. It is time to throw away your little tarot cards. It is time to stop trying to act so relevant on Instagram. You are already one foot in the grave. And what Satan is using you to do now is simply recruit other people to put their foot in the grave with you so that into hellfire all of you will go if you do not repent. That's the only thing that can be done now is to lead the blind to lead the blind until they both fall into a ditch. And that ditch is hot and fiery and it is on its way. And my job is to stand here at the junction of life and death to tell all who will hear come out of these perversions come out of these dark practices the god of the old testament is the same god we are dealing with now he did not suffer witches to live in the old time and i'm telling you some of you will lose your sight i am telling you by the spirit of god you will go blind that is what i was seeing today these things that you put in the bowl and then you sprinkle, sprinkle and sprinkle, dinkle, you will put things into that bowl that will fizzle when you were not told that they would fizzle. They will pop and you will be struck blind. God told me, and I'm telling you, that you will sit around in your house weeping, sorrowing, crying and not eating. Now in this time, when the church of Jesus Christ should be leaning into their Lord and Savior, many of them are playing around with new agery, eanagrams. They want to know their star sign and still call the name of Jesus at the other side. Light and dark cannot mix. You cannot drink at the table of witches, divination, going to soothsayers. You cannot, there is no such thing as a Christian witch. You are just a witch or you are a Christian. You cannot be both. Whoever thinks that Jesus Christ will mingle with darkness, he will depart from you and when the Lord leaves you you will sit there he said blind and crying with no working sight so to whoever has an ear witchcraft is an abomination before the Lord whatever community that is talking about we're going back to our roots we're going back to our ancestors. We're going back to your Orishas. You're sitting here in New Orleans and you don't even know what an Orisha is. You learnt it from the internet. And the people in Nigeria who know what it is have cast the evil practices of their fathers and their forefathers behind their back. And they are gathered around the altar of the Lord Jesus Christ, marching around it seven times strong, lifting their hands and singing praises to the only one who lives, the one who died and rose again, who defeated the cross for their souls. And you are the one traveling back in time. I'm the cow. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna make you sweat, make you wet, make you wet, wet, wet. I'm gonna make you sick, little baby, pissing in your chest of pressure. Vault unlocked. Hello, what is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kai, and this is the vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this yeah. alrighty then you guys if you guys haven't already please do like share and subscribe to my channel and if you guys do enjoy my videos please do click on the thank you button and before you guys leave out of here 
please do drop me a comment in the comment section down below right in this video you guys i want to talk about ogogo manzini now she or he is one of i really can't tell the gender of that person she's giving man vibes but also woman vibes you know i i really don't know and i don't know if he or she has come out to say this is what or who i am all i know about her i'll say her is that she is a sangoma a witch in the dark kingdom who loves her witchcraft and is drawing you in and it is detrimental to your salvation anyone that has befriended that lady worked with that lady gotten information or witchcraft from that lady you are in trouble you must repent you are in big trouble I saw a recent video that she did where she was promoting her muti. She said that she has to go fetch gupus, like the other ones that fetch these gupus in India and stuff like that. African um, culture and tradition lies. She blatantly came out to say that she is inhabited by multiple spirits. These people know. And then some of you want to come out and say, I'm lying. They know she's saying it herself. She's evil. She likes it. She said that she's inhabited by spirits. She's not even herself. Multiple spirits. She says that this big house that I live in, I don't get my money from my Ndumba practices, helping people. She says that she has creatures that do things for her, for her to acquire her wealth. And you guys follow and you listen. You want to be just like her. Did you see that lady or that guy? She is navy grey. She is the naviest grey. I love what is going to happen to us. I was never lying about that. It's true. That same video where she was promoting her witchcraft and then saying to you guys that I am inhabited by multiple different spirits. I'm not even myself. She even said that if you are her acquaintance or friend, she's going to help you no matter what to get these hojos so you can elevate. I'm a spirit as well. Don't try to disrespect me. And if you befriend me, if you want to hold my hands and say, Gogo, please, let's make sure. We will go to this road. And... I will get to the point where I share all the secrets with you. And Uzo Pila, you will leave. And I know for a fact that, well, she's on the internet and on other people's um, channels and stuff like that. Give these people a platform. God is watching. You're going to be in trouble because you're stupid. And then you want to say that, oh, I'm helping people with this information. It's a lie. Same situation with those gangsters, ex-gangsters that are educating people on Skim GP's channel. Uh-uh. People are learning and they're going to elevate and escalate their darkness. If you are a friend or an acquaintance of that lady, God is going to get you. Stop with your lies. Stop deceiving yourself. It's idiotic to say, oh, here's a platform. Hey, what, what, what? Just teach the people. She's teaching them witchcraft. There's somebody out there, ding dong, dizzy person that is thinking, yeah, I need to contact her. She's telling you I'm evil. They are luring you in. She said that she had an issue with one of her clients. Or was it her friend? You double cross her. You're double crossing her little demons and hojos. She said that she's going to get that guy. They will always get you. They're evil. She said it. I have multiple spirits within me. I'm not human anymore. Why do you associate with such things? You're sick. She even said herself, if you're my friend or acquaintance, I will teach you the ways. You will live a better life. And in the same video saying that I have all this wealth because of my hojos, isn't she helping her acquaintances and people? To get the ajojos, to get the money, the notoriety, the fame. It's sick. And it's so clear as day. The same thing with her skin color. She's gray, navy gray. It's so clear. And it's crazy because you see it and the person is telling you, I am evil. And you still want to go there because you're a freak. You are a freak. 
Something is wrong with you. You need help. You need prayers. You need a lot because you can't survive on earth with us natural people. You weak. You are so weak. Why would you want to befriend a witch? Witches try to bring people down, steal destinies. What makes you think that they won't try it with you? Because you're their friend and they love you? No, you're stupid. That is stupidity. It's wrong. You have to change your ways and repent. Creepy people are coming out to tell you, I'm a freak, I'm creepy. And you just run there to the danger zone. Something is wrong with you. You will never ever in your life run towards a person that is pointing a gun at you. But you will run towards a witch. You don't think that's kind of crazy? And how about Jigaela? Or you stop being their friends. Are they coming for you? They are coming for you. I told you, be careful. Something funny is happening here. Kitty podcast, kitty podcast. Inviting witches and warlocks. No, it's deeper than that. Because everything is spiritual. Booga. Wake up. That's a lie. You're going to die. You are going to die. Even though we are all going to die, but you are really going to die. And then you saw, you need to draw closer to God. Repent for your sins. Repent for the acquaintanceship that you have with these witches and warlocks. You're dirty. You are dirty. It's a problem. You're becoming navy gray. We can see it. Their stuff is rubbing off on you. And they kiss on. Sure. Anyway, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, please do click on the thank you button. And before you guys leave out of here, please do drop me a comment in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Don't be guilty by association. And stop, stop it, you guys, especially the podcasters and the people that have platforms. Use your platform for the right reason, for the reason that God intends. Use it for God and for his people, for their salvation. Stop coming out here to have witches and warlocks on your channel and say, ah, oh, this is educational. What kind of education is it really? Stop being delusional. I am not delusional. I'm never going to go down that path and be delulu with you. I'm going to tell you the truth. Stop that nonsense. Why, why would you want to educate people about witchcraft? Somebody out there is sitting and they are going to halal to do that thing. You are a liar. You are a deceiver. Just like those witches and warlocks. If you are that person. Right? Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.